The Oklahoma National Guard hosts the National Guard Bureau's training exercise, Vigilant Guard. This training emphasizes the joint operations between National Guard entities, the local authorities, and state agencies, such as the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. For the National Guard and the state entity, emergency management entity, uh, to come together, uh, develop a good rapport and exercise to ensure that we're able to communicate, able to accomplish all of the things that we need to to support an emergency in our state. Take our taskings through the State Office of Emergency Management. Uh, they direct our activities as far as what support they want and where, and then we go and we initiate that support in those areas, working with the local authorities there. The exercise focuses on mass chaos across the state, providing those involved the opportunity to practice their response. And the bottom line is, typically when the Guard shows up, it, it has a calming effect on the citizens of the state of Oklahoma, and we're always happy to do that. Other states involved include Texas and Louisiana. Also, joint operations with Homeland Security packages that provide chemical and biological relief efforts enhance the training and create more realistic scenarios. We have uh, elements that are underneath us from Texas and Louisiana that are referred to as uh, surf peas or Seaburn Enhanced Response Force packages. Uh, they actually bring the life-saving capability down to the incident command level. It's a chance for them to exercise together as real or lifelike environments as we can provide for them so that they, when they're called upon, could actually provide uh, that capability in a real event. This is an opportunity for us to integrate local first responders with a military presence to better understand how to mitigate a situation that would probably overwhelm local capabilities. Joint efforts center around information, operations, state agencies, state authorities, and task forces making up a collaboration of responses and coordination. It is a good way for the state to practice communications across agencies in preparation for any real life disasters that may occur. It is fictional but it gives them the reality of understanding that their equipment will save their life, that they are able to save lives, affect change for civilian entities, and work as part of an integrated uh, portion of Homeland Security, which is vital to our nation. Reporting for the Oklahoma National Guard, I'm Sergeant First Class Amber Osei.